Dave, Tamman Motorsports here. What's going on? <clears throat> just in the pull bar room trying to get orders knocked out here. So I just thought I'd go live for a little bit and uh, mess around with the pull bars. See what the hell's going on out there. We got ourselves a mini bar. It's just got two bushings on acceleration, one down here. Oh. One thing about these mini bars with the two bushings and one work really good in the mod light uh, type of race cars. Also, uh, if you want a pull bar with a lot less travel in it, we got these in the IMCA modifieds, UMP modifieds, and late models. So, pretty cool. We can really manipulate this and how much travel we get. So, but uh, got to run this thing a few a few times here. We get. Uh, Get everything all situated up. So tell me where the hell y'all from? Chime in there. Let's break the damn keyboards on your devices. I like to hear wh where people are from and what's going on out there. And uh, I just got to kind of look here and see what I'm looking for. Man, that thing is right about there. So what... Uh, I've already been running this a little bit before I come on live here because sometimes I screw up the machine and don't have it travel right and it looks like a disaster so I didn't want to do that. So this will be my final time. I always run them X amount of times. Run them, double check and make sure where they're at. And then um, that thing is just right on. I got it reading on every... Uh, eighth of an inch for a half inch travel so and I know the serial number of this one so we'll clear that out and put the serial number in and we'll hit the big enter on there and uh, let's see here I don't five so tell me, chime in here. I don't hear no one chiming in. And how about this Iowa weather? It's like 75 degrees today. It's just beautiful. So, um, nine. Now I'm going to get all my other bars set. I've got a, another new thing that we do here with all of our bars. Um, and we go in here. Now I do a uh, in manual mode. Simply just run it. And I know exactly how much it's gonna travel before it locks up. And we keep that on record here too, so. And pretty important to do. Now I got all my pull bars, and you've heard me always say in the past that what we'll do is we'll take the, I build them. And I uh, put some load in there and let the bushings collapse a little bit. And then uh, what I do then is I, I always used to count rounds. And um, now I went one step further. I actually travel measurement from the end of the shaft down. And that really has made a big difference on there. So I'm going to get these all set up. <clears throat> Just got back from Knoxville, Tennessee. We were down there for J.A. Aki's uh, outside groove. Pretty good trade show down there. Um, we had uh, we had Matt Henderson's car that he drives for Rusty Webb. We had that car in our booth. Turned out to be a pretty cool car there. And uh, had a lot of people stop by and just say thanks for all the tech videos and appreciate that. And another thing that I've done is uh, to hold on just a second. Another thing that I'd done while I was down there, I made the deal with um, an oil company called Daytona One. And 
Oh, we can see there, that's a little bit far. What's cool here is I can back this damn thing up just to skosh and get that number set a lot better. But anyway, I got hooked up with Daytona 1 and we're stocking some of their oils now, like for the gear oil and the uh, engine oil and Burt Brin Falcon transmission fluid. We're carrying that stuff now. Um, so I met up with, with uh, Buck's daughter down there at the, at the trade show and got things set up. And Buck Baker's a hell of a good guy. I've, I've known him for a couple years. It's just uh, never never uh, thought about carrying the oils and, and we've had some phone calls and I'm like, when I was down there, I'm like, screw it. Let's just get it in here and get some more products on the shelves that just not everybody's got. So I'm pretty excited about that. And and then we got uh, let's see how that is. Along with the fluids from Buck, um, we're gonna start carrying some of the. Excess, ba excess battery stuff. I'm looking, looking like we're gonna do some stuff there with with uh, Jed down there at XS. It's all pretty damn good battery. It's kind of odd. I've been with uh, Rock batteries for years and years, but my really good friend that was a general manager passed away and. I just decided I've been loyal for a long time, but I want to change that. Uh, but uh, what's going on, Ray? I heard you uh, had a little misfortune there. Sounds like work got you. One, two. But... Uh, then something else I'm going to do is um, I'm going to switch my race fuel program. We're going to do Renegade. So I uh, think I'm going to give Renegades. I got uh, one of my dealers in North Carolina, Jim Peterson and JP Performance. He, uh, he's been selling the Renegades for quite a while and he's had zero issues and I had another fuel brand I was selling, no fuel issues, just got sick and tired of calling and getting a price and then when I order and getting it, find that I, I lost money selling fuel because they raised the damn price by the time it got here to the door, so I'm tired of that crap, so, but, uh, Hey, Ray, when uh, it's coming back from Tennessee, you should ask Johnson about the about the uh, boat on the semi-trailer versus the parked car along the interstate. That was pretty spectacular. We uh, was up in Illinois on our way back on I-74 and some clown's car broke down. They didn't get her all the way off the interstate. Some get, person's got a semi and a big flatbed in a really nice boat. And uh, we'll just say that the side of the boat ripped the side of the car off. Kind of a big mess. Let's hope everybody's okay. That, Look pretty, uh, pretty awesome there. The uh, the whole left side of the car, outer skin body, was laying on the interstate. The semi's front bumper, it was on the interstate. Parts of the boat, it was on the interstate. So, two. But uh, I say we all in all we had pretty good pretty good trade show down there so 
Got to hang out with my old buddy Dean from Dirt Car Lift. He's a pretty cool guy. So that's something too. If we do have some dirt car lifts in stock for the uh, for the late model stuff, if anybody's looking for a dirt car lift, I got a special pricing on uh, on a couple lifts here. You just got to reach out to me. Let's see how this is. Do, do, do. That's what's really nice. I made these pull bars so where we can really fine tune the damn things. And uh, has really made a world of difference. Ten thousand shorts better than ten thousands long. But uh, what the hell is it saying I got a slow connection for it? God dang it. Shouldn't have no slow connection. <clears throat> so how's everybody coming on the race cars? They getting them done, or are you just fiddle farting around and waiting till the last minute? Tell me what's going on. Am I stocking your oil at this time? Yes, I am. It's uh, Daytona 1, 75.90. They've got a 30.60, but the track's got to be smooth. I didn't get into that one, but uh, I've got the 75.90 from Daytona 1 in stock now. I've got their their oils for the crate engines, um, their oils for their Burt Bren Falcon transmissions as well. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, but this makes a world of difference fine tuning these damn things. We got we got ten going to one customer right now, car builder, and I've got uh, about another fifteen here in stock that were on orders that I got to get done. And then if any of y'all that has placed order with our setup plates, uh, we should have everybody's back orders out by tomorrow, no problem. I don't see a problem getting all the back orders out by tomorrow. So, and then I got a couple rear end housings that I got to uh, still build. And uh, then with all my damn travels and being sick as hell, I should get back caught up. So I really apologize to everybody that I've been late to. Uh, sometimes the cars. Well, Justin, you just keep plucking away at that. Yeah, you better get better, Ray, before you come down. Uh, things have really changed down here too since you've been you've been in here, Ray. It's uh, a hell of a lot different down here. And so I'm actually I'm actually got the uh, Ray shop is going together now for my stuff. Trying to think what the hell else is going on. But back to my traveling, I got looking at Google and they told me from uh, January 1 that it was right at 120 hours I've been in the truck traveling. I think it was something like 7,400 miles, something like that. I don't remember 100%, but hell of a lot of miles we logged. I've been North Carolina, Tennessee, Mississippi, Texas, Nebraska, and so been all over the damn place. 
but uh, then we got to ready start planning trade shows and stuff for next year already. So I'm going to uh, I am going to get that taken care of. I'm going to make it a lot easier. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is it. I'm going to uh, cut way back on my stuff for next year. I'm going to do the trade trade show in uh, Hickory, North Carolina, the cars. I'm going to do the trade show at uh, Day Motorsports in Tyler, Texas. And... Um, I think that's going to be the extent of it. I'm going to take a year off from the chassis schools. May take a little more off on that. I don't know yet. But looking like uh, looking like I'm going to scale back. I mean, I've been gone. I've been gone most of the year so far just traveling all over and uh Jesus Christ, I didn't even, I come home the other day, my dogs didn't even really remember who I was. I'm like, something's got to give. And so I really hate that because I enjoy doing the chassis schools and uh, really enjoyed working with uh, Race Logics over all those years. But I'll continue to keep them guys supported. My car's at the chassis shop right now. Oh, yeah. What the hell's with the slow connection? I got awesome new Wi-Fi in my shop here. Well, Sam, just get after it. It won't take you a whole long time. I got to get mine done. I've been I kind of messed up. and I should have had two cars done by now, and I don't even have one done. So here's what we do. Every pole bar has got a serial number in it. And then I have a hard copy. And then uh, the machine's got a copy in it too. So, But uh, we're actually... Another thing we're going to do sometime this week, I'm going to come up with an air cleaner special. I'm going to do the, the lid, the uh, base with the sure seal. The Wix paper filter, um, outerwear, scrub bag, and carb cap. I'm going to make one big combo, and then I'm going to do another one be the same thing, but no uh, no carb cap. I'm going to make, make up some uh, promos that way. So if you guys are looking to get into my air cleaner system, probably going to have it figured out by tomorrow what I'm going to do. So, might be the time to save some money. I know whatever the promo is, it's definitely going to be a free freight promo. That I do know. I just, I got to see how everything lines out and how I do that. So, another thing that I'm doing here is... Uh, this extreme pressure lube phenomenal product to put on all your rod ends threads uh, and when I say rod ends not the damn ball don't buy the cheap ass Himes uh, get the good Himes with the Teflon these are the Teflon Himes so they're a lot better but um, see how I just put a little bit right there on the threads even though that's plated that's plated this will keep it from ever galling up and uh, something should be done. That stuff's amazing. And it's not really a whole lot of money, so. But, uh, whoops, shit's falling. But back to the traveling thing, I want to definitely get back. To racing a hell of a lot more this year too and 
I just feel that with all the trade show stuff that I do, it really affects my race season too. So, and uh, all my travelings around. So, I'm not getting any younger. So I'm going to go race some. I actually got my big ass hauler to where I can haul the race car in it now. It's not done, but it's done enough. So let's see, this is that's what I thought. So I'm gonna use my big ass hauler. <laughs> going to uh, work quite a bit this week um, getting the I got to build a special left rear four link cage for my car and then um, I got to get back on the interior of it and the, and the body and it really don't lack a whole lot maybe if I get I can get to it I can uh, knock that damn thing out here maybe in the next week or week and a half but shops first <clears throat> another thing that I do there is a time to heim to here on the flat so when it's in the pull bar machine it makes if I need to tweak on it it just makes things a hell of a lot easier so you know it's the little steps like that that make a difference and it also shows people that you put pride in your work that you ain't some some jackass that just cobbles shit together just to get your money. Uh, let's see what this is here, Ron. Oh, like no, Ron. Can you fix a pole bar with two bushings on it, one on brake, and the and Oh, so you just want a total of two bushings? I sure can. You're going to be very limited on your travel, but uh, we can do that with this mini to where it's just a, a one and one deal, and I've actually done that. So uh, that would be a conversation for you to call me, and we talk about exactly what you're looking to do what kind of travel numbers you're looking at, what kind of load number to start with. And it's really not that hard. I can I can probably do it. Just um, you just got to call. And if you're wanting to know the number to call, let's call right there. And the girls will take your message and I'll probably have to call you back because I live on the damn phone all day long it seems like. So three this would be 84 but I'm just gonna go ahead and assemble all these bars so hell of a lot easier to identify them without the rod in in there and then if you get my pole bars we can uh, we can sell you a tool if you want to so if you want to hold it to take it apart or it's just an inch and 15 16 wrench if you want Hold it in a vice, whatever. I'm going to screw this up. I better look again. That's 83. I was right. But you make a missed stamp in here. And it looks like Vital's ass when you exit out and stuff. Uh, that's what... Now, with... Uh, Ron, with that deal there, please tell me that you're not racing the series that tells you what pole bar to use, too. Because I know some of those series that spec that also have a spec Chinese pole bar, and, and then we're just screwed. But if we can still use my pole bar, that'd be very, very easy to do. And... Now there's no inspection holes here, so you may have to pull it apart to prove that there's one bushing in it. <clears throat> but um, you just have to see and let me know what their rules are because some of those series that do that, they want you to run that piece of shit Chinese stuff, and uh, I'm just not in the mood to mess with it with the Chinese stuff at all. 
So, and I'll probably get in trouble by face, Facebook for saying that. Got myself in enough trouble with them last month, so. And that's another thing, too. If you're on my page and you see any posts where it says that uh, you need to verify your page, please don't be dumb and click on that shit because that is a 100% scam. And so that is ridiculous. There is more... I bet you I had at least 30 Facebook scams today on my pages with the Dirt Car USA, Hammond Motorsports, Pole Bar uh, page, and my personal page. And so, that, a uh, lot of scamming going on right now, so be aware. But, uh, so tell me, why don't you people chime in too and tell me where the hell you're from? It's really interesting. A lot of times I go live and we got people from Australia, New Zealand, and um, all over. A lot of Canadians and people even in Mexico. It's always interesting to hear where everybody's from. So, I mean, love to, love to see where you guys are from tonight. I mean, let's get... And make sure to tell people that you watch this stuff and, and really get sharing this. And uh, I need to get as many followers and people on this deal. And so. I need, I really need to get. Oh, I like. I'd like to get up to 30,000 people following the page here and by the end of end of next week. So it's about only 500 people we got to add. And uh, and also, I'm going to be doing a tremendous amount of live videos from now on. Uh, we're even, well, like I say, we're just going to do a lot of live stuff. But... When I'm working on my personal car too, or if you got got something, send me a message or or put on here what the hell you would like for me to do, and because uh, I've I've already got some people sent in some uh, they'd like to see some videos on how to do like bump steer for example with my setup plates, so we're gonna make those videos happen and we're gonna do them live, so. Uh, what part of North Carolina, Ron? Get get. Tell me where the hell you're at. See if we've crossed paths in the past. Let's see, California, Birmingham, just through Indy. Russian girls need love. You damn right. It's just too bad. They're, I'm not going to give it to them. Reading, Connecticut. Uh, I was just hanging out with a person up in your neck of the woods. So Randy LaJoy, he was my neighbor at the trade show. So I got to hang out with Randy up in Knoxville. That's always a good time. I've known him since we figured it was 1994, the first time I met him when he ran for Rookie of Year in, in the cup car at, when he was at Bill Davis Racing. So I... Uh, I did not work there full time. I, I just did some off and on stuff. But my father um, was actually Randy's engine tuner in the Cup Series, so I'm just knowing Randy for a long ass time. And it sounds like we're getting some messages in here. So where in the hell is Irwin, north carolina oh 30 minutes from fayette nam um they used to race down there in fact uh ron i was just messing with old uh with uh jim long jr this weekend and uh i don't like copycats but i'll tell you the thing i copied in my business is Back in the day, Jim Long and David Taylor had the Carolina Modified Tour. It's the exact same font. I just changed a couple letters around. So, but uh, 
It's pretty good. I got to talk to Jim up there for a while. Um, got to talk. Uh, I'd never done it before. I finally got to meet his daughter, Hope. So, but uh, it, anybody in that down there in that area, Jim Long's got the Steel Block Bandits. That late model series, I'm telling you, is really awesome. And uh, he pays the top 10 in points that show up every night. If you're the point leader, he pays even more. Excuse me, I got distracted here. Uh, talking away here, I kind of messed myself up. But, but back to that uh, Steel Block Bandits. That really is probably, in reality, for a regional touring series, that's probably the best the best deal in the country. It really is very good. Um, wished I could run that thing, but, I mean, that is 14 hours, 16 hours from home, so I can't just go down there and do that deal. I got plenty of people willing to help me to do it. I've got places to stay, places to keep the cars and the hauler at, and I really appreciate that. I just got to figure out how to get myself back down there, but that, uh, <clears throat> that tour deal that he's got is pretty badass. Let's see what else you got. Um, the lube that I'm putting on there, <laughs> Randy is something else. Hey, actually, if you see LaJoy, I pulled a Randy LaJoy on Randy LaJoy this weekend because at the trade shows, he's always the first cat out. He always leaves early. Now, this wasn't planned. It just happened because I borrowed a car and the people wanted the car back. They snuck it out. And I was like, told Randy, I was like, yeah, I beat you out. So... Here's that lube, it's on my website. Just type in high pressure lube in the search engine and it'll pop right up. It's pretty damn cheap and uh, well worth it. So that is something that is very well worth it. And a tube of that will last you a long time. This works really good on, if you got a um, Burt Bren type of transmission, works really good on the input shaft of the crank coupler. Uh, if you got on your drive plate that works really well for keeping your axles lubed to your drive plates um, we use it on all the heim joints we use it just about everywhere in the race car that we need to have lubricant but I do not I stress do not put it on the ball of the heim just run good heim joints that don't need lubricant and you'll thank me later for that and so but what else do we got on there? And then David, uh, I heard, you know, back to Ron there, I heard David Taylor selling out and getting out of racing. I'm like, that sucks. David Taylor really enjoyed racing with them guys. And that whole, uh, that whole Fayetteville area, that whole gang of people, man, that was awesome with the, uh, where you had Ricky Bowen and uh, Jerry Johnson, Jim Long, David Taylor, uh, Kimball out there on the East Coast, uh, Sheffield, you name it. There was a lot of great people in that series. And then got to hang around a lot with the uh, Tommy Chapman from VP Fuels. That's where David getting all his fuels from really good people so but uh, I say that that area down there is pretty good now uh, Ron are you also looking at running like uh, Elm City I bet with that rule aren't you you know, or am I wrong on that? But that's I think that's also an Elm City Elm City deal. I mean if you don't want to say I get it. So 
What the hell else is going on? Come on, people, chime in, tell me. You guys gonna watch the IMCA mods tonight down at Milton, Florida? We got quite a few customers down there tonight. So, I think it'll be a pretty good race. The track should be good and dry. So it ain't gonna be no hammer down shit. So they'll have actually a good race. Let's see, I just got another message here. So give me a moment, get this started. That, uh, so you're probably going to run Lakeview too, I bet. Now, was you down at Lakeview last year in November when they had the, uh, they had the old nostalgia car races? There was a Nova that come down there, white and blue 38, and won both races. That is my buddy's car up here, uh, Keith Simmons. And, uh, I got to... We did the chassis for that, and there was a lot of lot of really good people that helped build that car. But we did that in my shop, built that car in like 80 days from the ground up. And so they've run that car from South Carolina up to uh, Minnesota. I think it's got like a 95% win rate with nine different drivers. Pretty good hot rod. Yeah, that, that thing's pretty good. The guy that owned it was the, um, his name's Keith Simmons, and uh, he is the reason I ended up in North Carolina back in the 90s. Keith was the uh, engine builder there for when Jeff Gordon was in the Bush deal, and um, then he was the head engine builder up at Bill Davis Racing, Sabco. Um, I know he did some engine stuff up at Childress's. I don't know what, I don't remember all the places he worked at, but. Hold on a second here. The uh, first camera just went dead, so I got to, uh, I'm not gonna be on here a whole lot more. I'm going to walk out here just for a moment. The, uh, I guess it's been like probably 40 minutes since I've been on, but guys, it's going to kind of show that get the Kaiser wheels, stack body, the MD3 body stuff. Um, got the mod bodies in there, the late model noses and stuff. So, but, uh, I'll be back here working on, on this thing pretty damn shortly, so it uh kind of back here in my dungeon, but haven't been able to work on it too many hours, but we'll get back on this thing, and I'll do a bunch of live videos for that, so anyway, I am going to cut y'all loose. I appreciate each and every one of you that come on here, and like I say, please spread the word. Um get people to follow along, subscribe to the channels. So, and I've been working, reworking the website, making it easier to find stuff. So, but, uh, everybody, thank you and, uh, have a great night. And we will, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of live videos. So hopefully y'all don't get pissed at me for doing too many of them, but everybody have a great night. Appreciate it.